Yeah, it's coming true. Hello, everyone. I'm looking on the side. So if you can tell me if you can hear me, that's the main thing. So, and tonight's going to be um, a little bit different because this is not a regular uh, my life class because it's part of the club. So I'm going to go through all that in a minute. I just want to make sure that you guys can hear me. Can hear you perfect perfect so welcome to our life i just want to give a quick update here uh, no we don't have water it's been since tuesday night yeah monday we start just the dripping and dripping tuesday and then we get cut off on the water <coughs> bless you <laughs> And uh, we still don't have water. So, and it looked like it's going to be a few days. And I know people from up north that I was born and raised up north. We don't understand uh, why, you know, a few days below, uh, below like 20 degrees. It was not negative weather. Uh, just freezing point like 2018 and so on. Why are pipe freeze? Our house are not built like up north. The water pipe come right on the ground pretty much and in the house. It's not nothing, it's under berry and so on. So I, that's why if many people don't understand. Uh, no, we don't live in house of straw, but the, the thing are not built for this weather. Why they don't build it like that? Well, it happened one in a lifetime, right? So long story short we don't have water and the reason why us in our on the lake here we don't have water most people get back electricity and water in texas area us it's because that they cannot keep the t the tank fill the minute it fill it's empty because it's too many many broken pipes and it's to find all the, the broken pipes so and where i live it's I'm on a lake, so a lot of people don't live here permanent. So that is a big, major problem. So they're going to have to go and shut every house before we can find a major problem, I think. It's just a mess, put it that way. But you know what? We got electricity. We just went two hours this week without electricity, so it was a blessing. Uh, we learned to be pioneer women. So nothing major, but we learn how to um, wash up what they call the spit bath and the hair look a little bit crusty a little bit but i have to tell you a story before we get started because it's hilarious so this is my good friend holly you guys uh, always hear from her during the live and that is holly so Ollie got some, what it's called, dry shampoo? Dry shampoo. Yeah, I asked her, I said, can I share your story? She said, yes. So yesterday morning, she's like, oh, I feel much better. I use my dry shampoo. So she, I said, oh, let me see. What, <laughs> <laughs> let me see which one you use. So she got the bottle and she's like, hmm. She devil put hairspray on <laughs> her hair. So it was very stiff and then stay put, but today she find her uh, dry shampoo. <laughs> so that's the joke of over here. So may, we made a lot of uh, memories and that's the best we can do, right? And so, uh, yeah, when you take a shower, uh, count your blessing because every time that we take a shower we turn the faucet wash our hand take a bottle of water whatever it's we take it all for granted we you know it's there usually well let me tell you when you go like four days without water next time i take a shower i'm going to be very grateful next time i go to flush the toilet and i don't have to go get buckets of water to put in the tank I'm going to be very grateful. How do we get the water? It's today, it was melting. So we put buckets under the, whatever the, uh, the eaves, whatever the, the pipe that the water go. That's how we save our water. We caught some, we did some snow and ice, put it in the tub. So that's how right now we're saving uh, that we can flush. 
but that's not to drink right now nobody in town get water we're hoping that we can hit the truck tomorrow when it come because it come in and it's sold out so we make the best out of it okay you guys that's i mean <laughs> we're alive we're all healthy all is good so let's get stamping so i'm gonna flip you down and we're gonna have door price or screen price okay so what's going to be the price today let me tell you we did a lot of stamping though oh, lots and lots and lots of stamping so the first price tonight is going to be a pack of it's called the flower for every season you get every the in color of this year with the envelopes so you get a pack of that you're going to get this year i absolutely love mine so if you put your car your um, credit card there be careful mine i trust mine but be careful and i got my business card there or you can put business card or note whatever this is a stamp so i know a lot of you watch on your phone so if you see it's so you can watch me on your phone with your stamp so uh, that's what you're going to get it's a sticky in the back if you don't have a phone whatever just give it to your bff or it's free right so this is going to be a price this and this and then you're going to have a easel card that it's a calendar we done that this way so i got one in the green and one in the blue the same so one of the price is going to be those three things that's going to be the first price the second going to be the same thing plus a world of good memory and more these are awesome to do cards also so that's going to be included with the last price how can you be entering price it's leaving a comment it's even if you put 50 comment it's only one that get enter um and the thing with youtube it's you have to be logging into your google account okay that's not my thing that's it's youtube that's how so you can tell us hello and so on okay <clears throat> tonight i'm going to share with you how to make this card uh, instead of using the chick i am using uh, all the suite of a uh, beautiful world that's the one we're going to make so this one here it is for oh we're going to make our own envelope i'm going to share out to make the envelope i'm looking what i did with my envelope here here is the envelope and that should take just a regular stamp but because of the thickness please check with your post office okay but i'm going to share how to make your envelope and uh, so the front is decorated and also the back so this is called double fan fold so this one go in our special envelope and like i said it's the size that usually it would be a stamp but because of the thickness it can take more than one stamp now i got this one here that is for our regular envelope so this one fit in a regular envelope again usually it's a stamp but because of the bulkiness please check what's going to be the postage on it so this one it's the sand and sea that i absolutely love this bundle and then if you turn this way all of them are made the same same way the only thing that it's different it is the size of the paper now let me remove this here now this one here it's for those invitation uh envelope i get mine on amazon so it is kind of like those big jumbo one right they all stand all of it stand where's the other one so you can see they all stand so they make a very nice centerpiece absolutely so this one it's the big one and that was with the hydrangea uh, uh, heaven boom and then in the back so that's where you would write your message in the back and that fit in this envelope 
Okay, so I started uh, four or five, uh, five months ago, five four or five months ago, I'm not sure anymore, I because I work so much in advance. So see, it's just fitting this, boom. Uh, what it's called, it's a club that it's called a fun fold and technique. So each month, I bring a different fold and I bring a technique. The technique is released on Wednesday and it's about mid-month and the fold on Friday. Now, this month, the technique was the ghosting. So I bet you saw that Wednesday. So to get the download with all the information, it's with an order of $35 with the hostess code at the top, this 7CCXKBPN. Place on my online store, if you enter that hostess code with an order of $35, you're going to get the download for all these cards that I share with you, the one for the technique and the one for the fold. If you choose to partake in what I call the club, for six consecutive months, you're going to get a free stamp set of $20 value of your choice. But you have to do six months consecutive, so six months in a row. If you skip a month, you start back at zero because it would be too hard for me to keep track. So if you do six months in a row, you get a free stamp set from me. So that's why I call it a club. So this month, if you see, see all you want, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11. You get 11 page for your download. So this month, it's a, a mega month. Put it that way. Because usually, it's like three page. What the beauty about that, you can make your book. Let me bring my book here. So you get the basic, what I call the recipe. So you can have a recipe book. So we have the rubber band. Then you get your sample with all the detail. The next month, it was the SSS technique, sponge, uh, spritz, and stamp. You get the recipe and then your card detail. Then we add the Northern Light. You get the recipe and then your card. Now for the the full, we add the spotlight, uh, the sky, skylight uh, diagonal. So, and if it's a diagram, I show it there. Then you get your card. So you can make your recipe book like this. So I'm going to add the other one. I'm already ready for the following month. See, I work much in advance. Okay. So this is for the following month. So that's what is the club if you call it but you don't have to participate in the club if one month you want to skip you skip it but if you do six months in a row remember you're going to have a free stamp set so that's the scoop so let's get started like i said i'm sharing the medium size tonight so we get the small the medium and the large and tonight i'm sharing the medium size they all done the same, but different size. So let me bring my paper here. start it on my scoreboard you can do it on your uh, thing but let's bring our paper so it's nine inch by a seven you want the nine inch at the top and then you're going to score at one and a half you're going to score at three six and seven and a half that's it okay that's the only score I'm going to do on this now I'm going to bring my paper trimmer I could have scored it all on the paper trimmer I just love to score on my uh, scoreboard now on the paper trimmer not the first score but the second score 
you're going to put your point here and then put this ear. So the second score, it's at the trap, and then this over here. Is it very dark on you think? Some people think it's a little too dark. Okay, let me uh, see what I can do here. Okay, that looked better, I think. Is that good? That's good. Okay, so your point there and your second score at the bottom in the trap. Now, make sure you don't use the cutting blade because that would do a fiasco. Then you're going to score. And you want a deep score. Flip it around and you're going to do the second score there and at the bottom. And then you're going to score again. Now we're going to do that with the other side also. The point, the second score on that side, and score diagonal. Then flip again. And then score. Okay, the trick for these cards to work it's you have to reinforce and that I cannot say it enough reinforce 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 so you're going to take your fold fold this in fold this in now this one here going to go out okay Let's put that one out. And, well, it sh I should say in. So these one go this way and this one this way. So you're going to get this here. Now you're going to take your, I like to flip it now. You're going to fold that diagonal. If you don't reinforce your score line, you're going to, you're going to be, uh, saying words that you don't want no kids around. Put it that way. This is make the deal or break the deal in this card. Make the deal or break the deal. Now, if, you, if you've been following me for a while, you, you saw I did a card that it's uh, oh, that accordion, um, oh, what was that book name? And I say put your beak together. It remind me of uh, like uh, duck face, whatever. So you're going to, these thing here need to go out. So put this out. Bring this there. Bring this there. Oh, one minute. This go out. This go out. Here we go. So you put your, oops, I think I went on the wrong side. I'm going to fix that one second. Yeah. Bring this out. So the centerpiece go out. This, keep that out. Out. Uh, I, the club, I'm not selling it yet, no. Okay, this and this. Okay, I got those one. I'm going to flip my card the other way. That's it. Oh, I got it. Got it. No, 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 no. One minute here. Okay. Here, reinforce my center. That's going to make a world of difference. Okay. 
after it's put together it's simple okay let's go from the back here we go so you want to go from the back it's much easier go from the back here go from the back go from the back <laughs> and then reinforce this okay did you see what i done if you try to do it in the front the flat part it's get too uh so if you go from the back your point going to come here and bring those those pucker lips out like those teenager when they take selfie bring those pucker lips out voila got it so this is the back here boom Yep, you have, you have to purchase uh, $35, yes, U.S. Okay, now you're going to need, of this size here, you're going to need three of them. You can use two of the same print and one of the different print. That's what I use. One, I use two of this print and then I use one of this one here so they all going to be cut the same so i pre-cut some what you're going to do it's your point to your point like so points to points cut diagonal when you cut diagonal keep it together if you cannot keep it together here's a little tip take a post-it note I keep mine together, but in case you cannot keep it together, take a post-it note and put it there. So then see, it stay together. You want to keep it together. Now you're going to flip it, and you're going to go point to point. I'm going to do this and cut. So now what you have... Yeah. So you get your two sides. Okay, we got our two sides. And this is the top and the bottom. So you could measure on each side. But me, what I like to do, I don't even measure. I just bring the point in the center. The point in the center. And cut. When you cut with the point in the center, you want to start your cutting at the top. If you start here, it's a little piece, and it's a good chance it's just going to shrink your paper and rip your paper. So when you get a point, uh, one point and the other one, it's flat, you always want to go at the flat. Okay? So got it there, and cut. So then you're going to do that with three of them. One of them you don't cut okay you don't cut and all the measurement it's all in uh, the pdf so i got my back i like to have a, a piece in the back like a layer i'm gonna take my top layer we're gonna put that at the top like this And then I'm going to flip this. And this is going to be the inside. The inside is where the peak point at you, okay? At the, the front, I'm sorry. The front, the peak point at you, the inside, they go in. Easy to remember? They go in, that's like the back, the inside of the card it would be. Point out, that's the front of the card, the out. We're going to put that flat. Oops, let's put that on the right way. And I already stamp on this, life is a beautiful journey, and that it's all in that suite that is that uh, stamp set beautiful world, okay? Now, we're going to take our, going to put this here. You want to do your pattern before you start gluing, okay? Or this can go there. Now, I like to flip so I get different texture or different one. Now, I'm going to put that there, put that there, flip it, put it here, and put it there. Now, the other one I already cut, like I said. 
we're going to put that one there, that one there. So I find it easier if you place it before you decide to glue in case you, you did something wrong. <laughs> Et voila. Now for those bits and pieces here, oh that's going to be gorgeous, gorgeous. For those bits and pieces, I recommend liquid glue. And the reason why I say liquid glue, it's because that you can move it if you're not just right the first time. So we're going to put glue all on those pieces and we're going to glue away. So while I glue this away, we're going to, Ollie going to, Put our machine and pick a winner. See, you just... Here we go. So you're going to see it don't really fit. It fit. You just wiggle it a bit and boom. I tried different size and this was the best size that I find that was working with this. And then we're going to put this right here. And then over here, just remember the, the side that you want uh, up, you put the glue in the back. I did many mistakes doing that, putting the glue on the wrong side. Oops. Get glue there. I cannot tell Ollie go get me a wet towel. <laughs> I could. It might have extras in it. <laughs> oh, we have to laugh with it, right? Oh, see? It didn't fit. It. If you try to fit it on the side, it's going to tell you it don't fit there, right? Then I got another one here. So, Ollie, who do we have for our first winner? And before we announce the winner, let me uh, tell you, if you're not in the U.S., because we don't know if you're in the U.S. or not, I can only, I can only send a product in the U.S. That's stamping a policy. And uh, so if it happened that you win and you're not in the U.S., I will send you an handmade card. That is... I sure can, and I got the global stamp ready for that. Like I said, we have no clue to know if uh, you're in the U.S. or not, so Ollie put everybody that come in in the drawing. So, um, and then you have to claim your prize tonight because you have to be present to win. So when we're done, you're going to go at FrenchyStamps.com. That's where you're going to go for shopping also. You're going to go at FrenchyStamps.com and that is where that you, at the top, it say contact me. You're going to put your information there. You're going to click contact me and send me your mailing address. That's it. But you have to claim your price tonight. That's the only way that I know you were live with us, that you were present to uh, the drawing. So our first winner for tonight, it is Carol Bachelor. Carol Bachelor. Congratulations, Carol. And here we're almost done with that. And I know that to get the PDF is uh, just $35. Don't forget that the minimum shipping is $6.95 with stamping up. Well, and so that would be an order of $69. You would pay six, $6.95 shipping. Or if you order it's $35, you still pay $6.95 shipping. So you might as well crank it up to get the most out of the shipping. And not only that, right now we're during celebration. So you, with $50, you're going to get to choose a free product on top of my goodies. Okay, now I got some stuff, stuff, stuff here. So I pre-cut the, this is all in this die here, in the beautiful view. So I pre-cut that with the silver paper, and I put the sticky in the back. But before we do that, I want to bring a scrap paper here. And I want to add some color here. 
So I'm going to add a little bit of green. And I don't know where the hole is going to be. So it's pure luck. And a bit of red. A, a red blue. See, it's just a mess, okay? That's okay. A mess, that's what you need for this. A mess. Now, because I put the, uh, the sticky sheet in the back, usually if I pull it, it should pull all the bits in piece. So let me start this. Oops. Most of it came out, right? It's just a few that... That's what I love about those adhesive sheets. It's most of it, when you uh, peel that up, all those little pieces come off. So um, if you never tried the, the adhesive sheet for the detail, uh, very detailed dye, I strongly recommend that, very much so. Now we're just going to put this here. So I know the open spot should be all blue because that's, you know, the, but I thought it looked good with some green in it. Voila. See, just a little bit. So now this is trash here. Now we're going to take our, this I used the, did I use the, I hope I did. I don't think I did. Oh, I did few. It makes such a difference when you use the sheets. Now I'm going to take this. I like to put this in the back about where it would go first. So then it's easier to put on the card. And then I'm going to mount that right here. Is that gorgeous? Voila. Oops. Oh, I have to put glue in the back of this, silly me. One minute. That was silly of me. Let's slide that in. That was funny. Yeah, you need glue to... Uh, that was the paper that I put in the back because I had a piece of cardstock. It was in vanilla. And then I sponge. Voila. Is that cool or what? See the front? So now... After you fold it once or twice, it's going to stay full good. Et voila! See, it stands up by itself. So now we're going to do the back of it, okay? I think you need to do both sides just because that um, you need a place to write. Oh, see, I'm done. Okay, Ollie, would you get me another uh, seal, please, in the back of you? So, it's a reason why I ran out of seal. When you change your seal, it's very, very important. I use a bad word for that. I'm going to try not to use that word. But the, 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 the gunk <laughs> over here, you want to clean that up. So then when you start a new one, it won't get stuck. So you want to, it's always, doesn't matter how you use it, you're going to have a piece of chunk there. So remove that. Now we're going to take a new one. And then those two pointy things going to go right in this. And then close that, and we're ready to roll on. That's simple. And I already pre-stamped with this. Again, thank you for being part of mine. And um, that was early espresso, and then pool party for the feather, and then early espresso for the ink thing. But in the front, it says, life is a beautiful journey. And then when you turn it, it says, thank you for being part of mine. I thought that was awesome. Now... If you want to cover everything, you're going to need two more of the panel like I show you. But this one, I made a mistake and start gluing Epi. All the other one, I only, because see, you only see this one and this one. You have to open it up all this way to see it. So I don't feel it's necessary when you put it this way. You just see there and a little bit there and this. So what i done is put over here, put over here, and now you're going to put 
on the uh, left side on each panel. So that would be on the left side here. On the left side. Just on the left side inside, okay? Not there. Because if you put it there, you're going to have to cut another panel because then it's going to look funny if not. If voila. So that's how you're going to mount them. See? So when you fold it, you don't you don't see the this piece and that piece. So that's why I figure why spending time if it don't show. Uh, is that an inkwell in the stamp? Yes, and that it's all part of the beautiful world. All of it. All what I'm using, the paper, it's a uh, world of good. No. Yes. Yeah, world of good and beautiful uh, world with the dye. So I'm using that sweet here. But yes, the, the pen and the well, it's all together. Okay, now let's glue this together and then I'm going to share with you how to do a simple envelope. Very simple. Because this one, I did my own size, whatever, and I did, um, did an envelope for it. I wanted more uh, like a tight envelope, whatever. I didn't want it too loose and so on. So I did my own envelope. And the envelope, like I said, it's, and you see how I twist and twist and uh, <laughs> pull on this? That's why you want to have liquid glue. So you can move it if you didn't place it just right. If you use um, seal, or tape, or snail, or fast views, or whatever, then you cannot move it when you place it. When you put it down, it stay down, right? So this way, it gives you the chance to move that around. So remember, it's the inside flap that you want to do. Here we go. So the card is done. Now we're going to do the envelopes. I got a recipe. I forgot to put it there. But I, if you go on my uh, blog or on my even on my YouTube channel, and you put um, homemade uh, envelope glue, I got a, a recipe for glue that you brush in the back, and then when you're ready, you just use water. So, um, I do have a recipe for that. Et voila. See how pretty this is? Now let's, like I said, the first few times, you're gonna close it and open, it's stubborn a little bit, but then just press it good, and you saw the other one, they all stay, and it stay very lovely standing up, by itself, no need of an easel or anything. And then, see, beautiful. I love this one because I love vintage. And then when you close it, so that's why it's called double fan. It looks like a fan thing. Okay, the envelopes. Put those cards there for now because I got a tip too with the hydrangea. Let's hope I don't forget that. Okay, for the envelope, let me bring my scoreboard. I want to make sure I'm on the right side. Yeah. Okay, so your paper is going to be 11 and a half. So you need 12 by 12 for this, okay? So 11 and a half by 9 and a half. You're going to score the, the 11 and a half at the top. You're going to score at 3 and a quarter. 3 and a quarter. Then you're going to score at 8 and 3 quarter. 8 and 3 quarter. You're going to flip it. 
and you're going to score at one and a half and then you're going to score at eight and three quarter okay that is done now on the big where we get the big uh, oops this way um, the longer part here so that was uh, one and a half at the top from your is it the first score one second let me measure that twice from the top you're going to make a mark at two and a half I like to use a pencil so then you can erase it if you don't cut it. Make a mark at two and a half. On the other one also make a mark at two and a half on each side. Now you're going to take your um, cutter Okay, I like to use my scissors for the top though. So I'm going to cut my, my score at the top to the score. And to the score. Now you're going to take, you can fold this down so it's going to be easier to see. You're going to put that in the point and the two and a half at the point here. So the two and a half, it's in the groove and the in the middle there, it's in the, the groove also. Now you're going to cut that diagonal. I'm going to take this, cut diagonal. Do that with the other side. The groove over there and the two and a half on the side. Okay, I got it in the groove, and I got it in the groove here. Cut that diagonal. Now for the bottom, you can use the paper trimmer or you can use cut by hand. Uh, I'm a one that loves to cut by hand. I just do, a, when I say a little bit diagonal to the score line, this is the, the score line here. The score line here, I go inside and diagonal. And when I say a little bit, you could mark it, I go about a quarter inch. That's it. Now, you can take the paper trimmer to cut that, or you can use your scissors, and you're going to remove this. And then you're going to go over here. Et voila. So now, what you get for your envelope should look like this. You can take your rounder corner. Where did I put mine? Here it is. You can take your rounder corner and does it go all the way in? Put that in. Let me this one you're better, way better to have it flat down. Round the corner. Round the corner. So now we got that rounded. See that? Now we're going to, I bet you can guess what we're doing. Re, 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 reinforce. Fold in. Press. I should have scored on the other side, so we're going to bring it this way, bring it this way, so then it don't crack. And then this way. So uh, the place that it's raised up, say in, okay? And what it's in, then go full the other way. So now, if you try to put your envelope together, you go this way, this or this way, this way. See, one way fit better than the other. Now you're gonna take. Um, you can take seal or glue; doesn't matter. You're gonna put just a little strip here. A little strip here. Fold this together. 
and what I told you about the uh, mark, see I got a little mark there, we're going to erase that. Make sure my glue didn't ooze on each side. Now we're going to take this, fold that down. Okay, so you can have, like I said, the glue that you can make for the envelope. When you're ready to, you can, whatever, add water. I don't say licking because I don't like to lick envelope. You can take an aqua painter that I got one that looked horrible. But that's what I use me to do my, um, lick my envelopes. I don't use my tongue. I just put water. That's an old, old aqua painter and I still use it for my envelopes. Okay, so um, I should have said before, if you want to color like I did the, the chick with um, blends, you want to do that before you assemble it. Or, I forgot to do mine. So what I done, I took a piece of uh, cardstock and slid it in so it didn't, uh, you know, bleed in. But for this one, what I'm going to do is just uh, stamp my globe and I'm going to stamp that in Early Espresso. A uh, soft suede. I'm going to do soft suede on the envelope. And here's a trick here. Because if I put that there, my globe won't fit. So I'm going to put my globe here. So then I know about where to put it. Because I want to guide myself that it's not off my envelope. So I'm going to... This look good. I like to stamp this one first. Voila. Let me washi washi this. We're going to use some washi. Some uh, stamping mist cleaner. You do what you got to do without water. And then I'm going to use my globe. I want the other one to do it with more. And I'm going to uh, stamp that with pure pizzazz. And then, okay, I got my pure pizzazz here. Like so. And then I will use some blue. Let me wash you this. Yes, it is a super, super easy envelope. Absolutely no need of the envelope board for this one. It, I thought it was sweet the way that I done that. So to add some blue, I'm going to use a sponge. Um, I think that's going to be the... I could use the blend, but I would have to color the whole thing. So let me bring... Uh, I'm opening my trash to get a piece of scrap paper. Okay, let me use pool party for this. Just gonna get some, and first I'm gonna sponge here. Now I'm gonna squeeze my sponge so it's not so big, and I'm just gonna add a little bit. There we go. Just add a little bit of blue. It don't have to be all cover. It just look like a little bit of water. Now you got a place to write your address. You get place to, um, I mean, their address, place for your address and your stamp there. And check it out. So that's why I decided to do this size tonight so I can share the envelope also that and boom and what I like about this I use cardstock so it's more heavy than a regular um, more heavy than a regular envelope so I think this would mail very very friendly very much so friendly so and then see my chicken so let me share back uh, so that was an extra that I did for tonight but in the PDF you're going to have all the measurement, direction, everything that I use for this one. And this fits in the regular envelope. This chicken one, a chick. So 
remember this one also if you buy any product of the a chick the a chick a birthday chick one of the dyes or both of the dyes whatever you're going to get a download with 12 cards to um, uh, send your way so that if your order it's like uh, 35 dollars and you get uh, a chick you not only you're going to get the pdf of tonight's uh, cards not just the fold but the ghosting you're also going to get the download for the a chick so that's a, an extra special that I got this month. And then the hydrangea, I got a trick to show with that. Just because, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Here it is. So I die cut my, uh, you know, the, the whole hydrangea with the leaf. Now, I wanted to have this on top. So I color that. So let's see. The way I like to color my leaves is it's with a green and yellow. So I like, I'm going back in my trash to get my scrap paper. So I like to do a, a bit of yellow in my leaves. And then I go with my green. Because if you look at the leaf, you get quite a bit of yellow, right? Well, mine are all yellow because I'm a horrible um, plant uh, mama. So I just gonna, I'm not really blending, just adding color here a bit. Here we go. And then, let me add yellow at the top. Here we go. See, it adds quite a bit. It don't take much time, but it it make life much it look much better. So where I was going with that, when this is the full piece, you see how short it is there. So if I take this, well, really what I want to do with that, it's uh, where's my oh. Okay, usually I would take my silicone mat and I would put and I would sponge with glue. But you know we don't have no water, so I cannot rinse my silicone mat. So I will not do that tonight. But what I'm gonna do, so that would be, and this you just rinse this under warm water if you have some. If you don't have any, well you're gonna do something else like what I'm gonna do tonight. So let me Put this right here move that and I'm gonna tap 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 okay the thing that we you know we think we don't use water that much well let me tell you we use a lot more water than we realize now I'm gonna put that here and now you're gonna see what I'm talking about so I got this at the top so really that was not built to make on top of this but I want it on top so really you would just use that and this at the top but I wanted the, this different color in the back so what I done I just where do you go dang it well I had cut another bits and piece of the leaf that's very little. Okay. It's someplace. It flew someplace. So let me show you what I did. Okay. Let me put that back away. Oh, I see it. I see it. I knew I would. Okay. See, I just cut the bits and pieces of it. And then, okay, now I put my glue away. What I done is just put this in the back, put glue in the back. Like I said, this piece was not meant to be with that, but I want it. I put it all under there. Now we're going to cut it. Ta-da! Now we got a stem all together. 
see that okay and then another thing that I did for my hydrangea so I pulled all that so you can take uh, anything just put push your pedal and I really wanted to lift those pedal to give some depth you know what let me use something smaller here so I just push my pedal so I did all of them pretty much just fold it push see you don't have to poke from the back you can just bend the card stop and keep on pushing and then I took a sponge and just sponge the tip of them so I would take a sponge and I would go in a darker color I'm gonna go um, this is the same color but see just add some character to this Keep on pushing them up. Even if you don't do all the petal, but do some so it's going to look more 3D. Can you see that? How it add some character to this? Okay, after this was done, I glue this at the top. All these laughing in the back of me. Here we go. Just be patient with it. Et voila. And then I add the gem all in the center of every one of them. All of it. So this one, I was planning maybe I could add it right here with the other one. Or I bet I'm going to do another card with it. So this one, I don't have purple gem. But you can use this lovely one here. So it's the pearl. So instead of gem, it is the pearl. So I would use the darker one. And because they're bigger, I wouldn't add in every one. I would use in about every other one maybe. So that's what I done with uh, the seaside. The one that you see there, it's seaside. So I would add a few more. But those, well, you know what? I say not everyone. I bet I'm going to add everyone. I just like the way that this add to this flower. So it's plenty on a thing. While you place your order to get your free celebration, order two. <laughs> And then you're going to reach your $50 sooner. Let me poke this here. So voila. So I would finish that. So now you get the jig of that. See how pretty it is? So with just a little bit of ink, it gives so much more. So that is it, my friend, for the fan fold. Like I said, I got all three sizes. That it's part of the PDF with only an order of $35. You're going to get all the PDF for these. And then also the technique of the month. It is the ghosting. So you're going to get all these. So that is about it. We're going to have another winner. It's only going to bring that to me. And the next winner... My goodness. <laughs> the next winner, or the, the last winner, that's the same thing, but also you're going to get the cards. The, and that's match with the world map that we did tonight. It's Josie Betty. 
That's what I would say. B E A T T Y. Josie Betty. So that's about it. So again, the O's code, it is, let me flip you back. back. The O's code is the 7CC XKBPN. So that's the O's codes for um, the, to get the uh, download. And don't forget, celebration, it's almost at the end. So with an order of $50 before tax and shipping, you get to choose a celebration. $100, you get another section, or you can choose two fifty dollars and it's no limit. And the sweet deal to join my team, it's $99. You get to choose $125 of product of your choice. You're going to get uh, the designer Siri paper. You want to give me the pile of designer Siri paper? No, those one. Uh, the design. <laughs> You're going to get five pack of the pattern designer Siri paper. This is all the, the neutral, regal, subtle, bright, and the in color of 20, 20, 20, 22. That's 200 sheet of designer Siri paper. On top of your 125, you're gonna get a past paper pumpkin, and you only pay $99, and it's shipped to you for free. This sweet deal, and at the end of the month, and we're already the 20th. So really, we get one week left in February, because February it's only 28 days. So if you get any question to join my team, please let me know. And the sweet part, and so you get the sweet deal. And then every order that you're going to place after as long as you stay active, you're going to get a minimum of 20% discount. So that's about it, my friend. So thank you so, so much for joining us tonight. Till next time, happy, happy stamping. Bye-bye for now.